So we're, we're going to cover how to set up your printer for both Windows 8 apps and Windows 8 desktop apps. It's different. So let's go first go to the control panel. There's different ways to get here, but this is going to control your default settings for your printer for the Windows, uh, regular Windows programs, the ones that you're used to seeing on the desktop on Windows 7. Uh, so we're going to go here. This is all our devices and everything. And there's several ways you can get into this, but we're going to uh, expand this a little bit so we can see our printer down here. And there's my printer. So we're going to right click on it and go. Now you go to properties, but you can go directly to printing preferences right here. And you just go in here and you change all your printing preferences. And we have another video that covers this, but this is going to change it from the default to colors to, to always black and white. That saves you ink. The reason being is that you don't want to change it every time you go to a program. You just go in here, change your settings, take a look at what you want. Black ink only. Do not use the uh, high quality just use black ink only. It's fine for most of your text printing and things like that. Say OK and say OK. Now it's changed for all Windows uh, 7 programs or type or desktop programs. They'll all use that setting, uh, except for Adobe uh, Reader a little bit. But the point of it is, is that you can go in there and change them for that. That's what you would normally do in the regular Windows. Now let's go take a look at how Windows 8 does it. Now they've changed it and actually improved it uh, like uh, the most things, but let's go take a look at any any kind of Windows 8 app. This is Windows 8 uh, Explorer, the the start screen type, not the other one. And we go in here and you look around and you say, oh, how do I print? I can't find it on here. Why can't I just print the damn thing? Well, you look around until you see devices over here on the right. And you go over here and there's where your device is because you can print. You can project to a TV. Okay, but we're going to go to the print right here and say print. And there is our printer that we have already have installed. So we're going to go look at that. We click on that, and there's all the settings to print. You know, it says preview of all the pages. We've got, <laughs> of course, 77 pages because it's the entire MSN page. But it, it has all the settings. If you notice on the right over here, there's all the different ones uh, of what you can do. And down here, there's uh, a setting. It says use that for all apps. Well, we're going to talk about that in a minute, but let's go through these again. Uh, shrink to fit. We can say what size it is and all that. Uh, all different kinds of things. The point being is that uh, here's you, is where you would change it for this particular application and not necessarily save it just for this one particular instance of printing. You scroll through your document and you say, I'm going to do my current page. So you do that. If you want this to be permanent for all your applications, you're going to go in here and once you get your settings down, you look at what you want to have for your your uh, default settings. You don't have to go out to the control panel to do it. You just simply use the setting here and you turn it on, and now it'll be done forever for all the application. Yeah, so no matter how much you play around with these and everything, it never will uh, change it until you leave that, that slider on down at the bottom down there. So what happens after we print? Well, let's say we close it down or we're going to a different program. It doesn't make any difference, but I'm just going to stay here in Internet Explorer, and I'm going to go back to the charms bar, and we're going to take a look at what happens after you've, you've done your print job and everything. And you simply go down here to the corner, like, like, like before, go to the devices, and open it up, and we say print. You notice that the once we get there, it's turned off down here. There's, it doesn't say uh, that. And by the way, here's some uh, advanced uh, things as well to do. The, all the, it used to be the advanced inside the dialog box. You can change all these as well, and it will remember all these changes. But what you need to do is uh, simply make whatever changes you want to make. Uh, for example, grayscale, I, you know, just say monochrome for most text printing and everything, and you don't get all the different uh, stuff. If you want color, you have to come in here and change it. But for default, you leave it that way. You click back. Here it all is. Uh, you notice that I had to turn it back on again. Now, all those advanced settings are saved now as well. Now, I'm going to go back and I want to show you one more thing. If we go look here and we look at the printers, but we look down here and there's a check printer status. That used to be that dialog box. And looks, it tells me that I have... Uh, what's going on? And I pulled a paper out so I wouldn't waste any paper, and I can cancel my print jobs. This is just like the little dialog box you used to have that popped up in the desktop to, to cancel jobs. So you go in here and you decide what you're going to do with your print job, and you can either continue or resume it or cancel it. Now, I keep saying one more thing, but you should also know that if you launch some applications, like this is the Bing Finance application, you come over here to Devices and you say Print. This device, this app can print. Some are very, if they're the non-paying free ones, some people haven't implemented the uh, the whole uh, print interface. If we go to Facebook, if we go here, it can't print either. 
Okay, so you have to go out to the website if you want to print or do a print screen kind of thing. But for now on, if, uh, if you want to print something, not even the calendar can print. So if we go here, we select an event, we come over here and we say devices, whoop, uh, devices and say print, this app can't print. So we looked at how to print web pages and some maybe some text from an application and everything, but let's take a look at photos now. It's very simple to do, and it has a really good preview set in. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and, and click on our, our photos, and we're going to go into that and come up to the pictures library. Now I moved to get here, but this is uh, the pictures library here, and I want to select uh, one of these to print. And you would think, oh, if I go off to the side and I say devices, it's, and I say print, this app can print. Well, it's not really true. It can print, it's just not from here. So we actually go into the photo, and you get, a, of course, a preview of the a picture. I'm trying to be a little artistic here. But anyways, we go into here, and we're in the print photo uh, functionality. And once we click on the item to print, you see you get your preview. You can select if there's multiple pages, whatever. You can do landscape portrait, all that. You can do all these different things that uh, make sure that it comes out correctly, your print quality and all that. So you can print your photo. So the, the photo, uh, printing the photos is just like it was before. You can select the quality of your paper and all that. You just have to go to your devices and then print. And then, of course, then select your device and everything. Now, in the Windows 8 mail application, there's a little bit of a shortcut I'm going to show you here that you don't have to go to the devices because it does it a little differently. Here we are in the mail application, and I have a draft one up here. But if you go out here and uh, attempt to print this draft and everything, if you use the same interface as we talked about a little while ago, you go over to oops. Uh, you go over to uh, devices, and you get print. Print. You get the dreaded. This app can't print right now. Okay, because you're not in the right place. Is a draft can't be printed for some reason. But let's go to a real one that I received an email from them, and let's go ahead and use this uh, same interface. Do actually, there's another secret way down here. There's a little print button down there in the three dots, and it goes jumps over to that. Okay, but if we move back over to the uh, regular way and we go off to the side and say devices and say print, sure enough, we can print that out, that uh, email out. So again, there is one, uh, one different way to do it within the uh, uh, mail program with a little sync button at the bottom. Pretty much that covers uh, all of the printing for Windows 8 applications, and uh, I'll keep trying to keep abreast of any changes and everything, so you can just use that function of go to the device and then going to find your printer and uh, there you go. You're, you're all taken care of. So enjoy your uh, printing Windows 8, uh, both for your desktop apps and your uh, Windows uh, 8 apps. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. We have over 150 Windows, Windows 8, and Windows Phone 8 videos, and we're publishing more all the time.